Hi guys, here I'm working on another uh, little project. Uh, this time I am um, using an Arduino Uno um, connected to a DHT11 uh, uh, air temperature and relative humidity sensor <coughs> that is uh, connected to this laptop and it's running a simple little sketch um, that is just uh, sending over the uh, virtual COM port the humidity and temperature uh, values in Celsius and percentage uh, when a letter R either uppercase or lowercase is sent kind of like a handshake and it replies with the values separated by a coma so it's a very simple um, sketch actually the library um, that I'm using is called simple the HD so it's rather not a big deal um, actually so um, but what really is happening here is I'm running here a little Python um, program here um, which is um, connected to a MySQL database and is also connected to the Arduino over serial port connection so this is the serial port of the Arduino and here is the uh, MySQL connector. So I am connected to this own laptop that is running Apache um, web server. Also running uh, MySQL um, locally. So that's why I'm connected to the local host. And I wrote a little database called IoT. Stands for Internet of Things, as you all know. And into that database, I uh, structure a table that is basically composed of the ID, the, the primary key, the day hour, which is a <coughs> tame, uh, I mean date and time, temperature, humidity, and um, every 30 seconds, it sends letter R and the Arduino replies with the uh, temperature and humidity and it enters it using a MySQL query uh, insertion into the database and of course it does the normal error handling depending on what is happening here and uh, right now I can it's running I can show you the terminal this is uh, by the way this is a uh, visual studio code um, editor which is free it just open source I mean it's, it's free you don't have to pay for it you just download it Python of course is free um, and my SQL and Apache both are free from Oracle um, so no big deal on that <clears throat> um, so you can see here on the um, terminal off which is the uh, command.com um, running the Python script uh, just it just prints to the screen here because I have this line here that prints to the screen the current time the temperature and uh, the humidity so it's doing that every 30 seconds and the Arduino is just I don't know if you guys can see it's just doing it every 30 seconds you can see the TX and the RX uh, LEDs blink but of course I just bring briefly you can barely see it on the camera there is the DHT11 uh, sensor um, and the cool thing is that it's um, inserting those into a database 
and this is MySQL database. So this is this here is all the entries I have, and I'm gonna refresh it. So uh, it's gonna show that it's adding every 30 seconds. So this is how many entries I have. Uh, the very first one was about uh, four, uh, no six, six p.m. And right now it's. Uh, almost 8 p.m. so as you have the latest one down here it's now been a while for this guy running um, yeah right now it's almost 8 o'clock so it's that's the last entry it has so you can see you got the uh, day and time and the temperature and humidity uh, shown on the PHP my admin uh, web base um, environment and the other thing I have uh, made here is another Python program that uh, also connects to the MySQL database and its table the one I made it connects to the IOT table I mean IOT database and the DHT uh, 11 table and it reads out or reads out of it. It, um, it selects uh, the daytime, the timestamp, the temperature, and the humidity, and it creates uh, a graphical representation of it. So I have here another uh, shell terminal here, um, and I'm because I'm running the other Python is running on another instance of cmd.com. Another terminal is running. This is the terminal that is built in the uh, BAS, BAS code uh, for Microsoft. So it's this is another instance of the terminal. Here I'm running another instance of the terminal, and I'm going to execute the uh, <clears throat> read from uh, the MySQL database. And what it does, it will plot two uh, trends. Um, to graphics to plots into uh, the screen using matplot which is also free to use in Python so it is gonna just press enter to execute it and it's gonna read the MySQL database and it's gonna create those uh, graphs it's gonna plot them to the screen so you get here uh, the values that it collected from the uh, table on my database the time you got Celsius here so right now this is about temperature is dropping and it's around um, 12 something right now the relative humidity went up because it started raining and it stays pretty much the same temperature I mean the humidity increased starting at this point and it skipped around 60 and it's probably going to drop later on. I'm going to leave it running the entire night. Um, the values are entered every 30 seconds, so I'm just going to see how long it goes. Uh, for a whole day, I don't want the database to get so big because this little laptop has a um, micro SSD um, drive, and but also um, the database is running on the built-in EMCC drive so there's not a lot of room in there but it's this is this is an exercise it shows um, how easy it is to automate something like this to collect the uh, uh, temperature and relative humidity and just start them into a database for later retrieval and analysis so uh, thumbs up if you like the video and stay tuned for more Bye-bye.